haven't talked to Alex in a long time. Like, no communication. I'm not over him completely, but I'm just gonna live my life. I met this guy, Robbie. Oh. Oh yeah, I kind of have a new boyfriend. And he might look a little familiar. Yep, Robbie was on The Bachelorette. Slow down and make sure that, you know, you yeah. know what they say. No, what do they say? Best way to get over someone is to get under someone else. Who would have thought I'd be living in Siesta Key with you? I like it, though. Can you believe that me and Kelsey are roommates? What is the deal with Chloe being friends with Alex again? I think it just seems really shady. Remember last year how Chloe was a thousand percent team Juliet? It's not how a man should treat his girlfriend. After Alex and I broke up, Chloe jumped right back to team Alex. And now, she and I barely even talk. I just felt like Juliet always was coming to me with like negative, negative, negative. It's almost like Juliet like penned Alex and I against each other. Chloe's already talking of course. To you. Just, I think, like a round of people about Robbie. After last summer, Madison totally bailed on BG and left Siesta Key for LA. I bet you're wondering whose dad this is. But no, this is Madison's new boyfriend. And this is where it gets weird. He used to be our producer. Can you um, see everybody in Siesta Key before you go off to Canada? Um, I think I could probably make it work. Really? Garrett and Kara ended last summer on the rocks. It's my party and you're standing there with your ex-girlfriend? You stupid Like, do you think at all? I know Juliet's graduation party is coming up. Should be fun. So not excited to see Kelsey. I get it. You don't like her. You don't gotta keep telling me. Okay. So I mean, if you don't like the girl's that. name, then like, keep it out of your mouth. And like, no. Just keep defending your skanky ex-girlfriend. It's fine. I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever. It's been a while. Kara doesn't really want me to talk to you, so. I can't just ask you how you've been. For me, right now, I'm just like working on like my relationship with Kara and. Allowing her to control you. Kelsey is a straight up and shady skank. I can't even. Oh, hi, oh, me. You're a cheater and a liar. You are literally the shit. I cannot wait to watch your life like fall apart. Oh, thank you, honey. You don't even have your GED. Good luck. What the? Hey, bro. You're showing up with Madison right now, man. I don't know. I don't know how that feels to you, but to me, it's a whole bag of weird. You weren't together. That was the girl that I loved. What are you talking about? Yeah. That means that, that you had your sights on her for a long time, right? No, I left. I was in California. Don't come at me hard like this. Yeah, we are together. Uh huh. And it seems pretty serious. Mm hmm. But at this point, I'm not convinced that this is in my daughter's best interest. You do not have my approval on this. I thought you were like my older sister where you wouldn't betray me. You are surrounding yourself with people that are using you. From there is no friendship with us apparently because I thought we were good friends. Me, we were. Me, me. Get your hand the out of my face. <laughs> me not stop, being stop. friends. You have nothing to do! Yeah. Shut up for one Don't tell me to shut up. Then why did you break her nose? Because I got hit first. And you I did. can? Did she hit you first? Did she? No, but she spoke about I'm people I'm not she talking loves. to you! You are my friend! You want to get your ass beat too? You yes, get yes, out! Get yes. out! Yes. Robbie, don't antagonize me, dude. I'm sticking up for her, brother. You're just you clapping. Can't see You're that. clapping in the yeah, background. Because it's her house. I called the cops and filed a police report. They, like, just left here. You can hold this over her head. Yeah. And the next time she screws up, then have oh. her arrested the next day. Where's my apology? Show some remorse. Do you feel bad? I don't really care about the fight with Chloe. Do you regret acting the way you did? Yeah, I always regret acting like that. If I don't see that she's showing any remorse, like, she will get arrested. I'm just getting told by you're best friend. You just genuinely don't have feelings for me anymore. Okay. You're going out of your way to talk to Alex. Let what me know. You said hi. Is that okay? I don't yeah. care about the whole hi. Like you me. You want to be with me, yes or no? I mean, with hearing things like that, I don't know. I'm a different. You push me away. I don't have a bone to pick with you. I talked to BG recently, and he told me that you said I have bad intentions. Like I didn't mean them as in a per personal attack. I not. 
could have had BG if I wanted him, and before no, you I know, too. And that's so it's a lot like... of the reason why I am skeptical because I do know of your past with Brandon because I dated him shortly after you guys had your fling. Seems like you're just getting a little bit jealous of him. I can be honest with you, like I could never envision you with Garrett like full time. He's the first person that I've never cheated on in my entire life. Meanwhile, I know for a fact you cheated on, but it's OK. Wait, why? Maybe, maybe. You're literally lying. I'm not lying. So well, tell who you. said that I've cheated on It doesn't matter. Why the f are you going to accuse me of some bull that you don't know about? You want to start some like that with me? Why don't you tell me where you heard that and what you heard? I'd love to hear it. Fine, we're taking her. All right, let's go now. For once in my life, I haven't done that, and someone's going to Excuse me of that, no way. Alex and Alyssa have been friends since they were kids. Adorable, right? No. Because they hook up whenever they're single, and even when they're not single sometimes. Seeing Juliet might be weird, but showing up as your date, I'm sure she's going to be like. Like, I don't need to protect her feelings anymore. Like, I've moved on. Like, I'm happy, so. I haven't seen you in four months. That's true. You're not 100% over me. Probably not 100% over you. And, definitely not. OK, sure, I'm not over you. The guy you're with is a bitch. It just doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that he is trying to start in a social influencing company, and you just happen to be a very popular social influencer. I mean, know that you're trying to hurt me. If I wanted to hurt you, I would go date another girl. That's harder That's than you. That's not going to hurt me. Yes, it would. Well, then why haven't you dated because another I don't girl that's hurt hot? You, you can't. You haven't found a girl that's hotter than that me. That is not true. Yes, it is. I've definitely found a girl hotter than you. Okay. Probably well. 10. <laughs> I saw that you and Alex were hanging out. I was so upset. It doesn't make it okay. And I know me being friends with Alex isn't going to be like easy for our friendship, but I feel like a part of you maybe thought it was like to hurt you, and I really want you to know it really isn't at all. That's, see, that's what I thought. But it's okay. I hurt you. I just didn't know how to handle myself. I forgive you. You know the whole situation with my phone going missing? I know Robbie knows what yeah, happened to it, and I feel like you know too. Well, you he bet. threw it in the ocean. This is what happened. You and I were friends, bro. <laughs> Why didn't you say something to me? I should have. I'm so sorry. I told her that you threw her phone in the ocean. I just kind of was like thinking about our relationship. And I don't really know what I want. It's just not what I need right now. So we're breaking up. Emotions were running high. I was blinded. Girls can do crazy things to boys who are falling for them. And I acted out of line. What you did was just beyond low. Thank you for the apology. I'm not going to get over it. Where's your boyfriend? He broke up. I know I was not the best boyfriend ever. At the end of the day, I do be happy. Just come to me with me. I love you. So I never really knew you. How about we speak about that you still have feelings for me? I don't know what you're talking about. You told me you love me. I love you as a friend. Can I butt in? Yeah, go for it. What are your boundaries? It's clearly, you know that we're together now. So you're OK with him telling me that he still loves me? I actually you're want you to friend. leave. <laughs> that girl, get her the out of my house. It's the worst person. I was talking to Juliet. Started off small, and then one night, I ended up staying on the phone with her for a really long period of time, like six hours. Why am I like just now hearing about all this? I didn't think it was a big deal. But all I'm saying How is, is like, not a big deal. Your ex calling you, and you're talking for six hours. I just want you to know, I'm not a dumbass. Do you enjoy hanging out with like me and everyone here? having a great time, or are you more like a Team Juliet girl? I just don't understand why you're getting mad at me for trying to be there for Juliet when you're on the phone with her for six hours. I wouldn't be in this situation at all if you had just told her the truth the day after. But why do you always got to get in the middle of my relationship? You enjoy oh, your good. Bye. 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 Shut up. Ish asked me to move in with him. That's a problem. 
I don't think it's in your best interest. It is her decision, but I would much rather have her have all of your blessings. Isn't it actually like kind of a cliche for LA, a producer and an older man dating the young actress? I personally would love for you to be my girlfriend. So you're my boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'd love that. I want you to move in with me, but your dad's not on board. And in the meantime, what does that mean? I just don't think we should be together. Got it. So that's what this is. Just forget it. It's all about living in the moment. Hey! Hey, Have you you seen seen you? hey pull his <laughs> out. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Pull it out. It's small. That, ask Jules. If you come over here, I'll knock you the f out. Keep hey. that up. Anyone, next person oh, touch me, I swear to God, I'm not Steve, Alex. He's a loser. Maybe you weren't the one for me, but I learned a lot from you. And I had a good glad time with you. I could make you better for the next girl. While you damage me for the next guy. Ultimately, what do you want? <laughs> it is just so much. Do you realize that Alex is not coming to Nashville to hang out with his friends? He's coming here to get back with you. If you throw an axe better than me, I'll take us on a horse ride. But if I win, what are you going to do? I will take you to a moonshine tasting. I'm the best day of your life afterwards. Do we kiss on it, or are you a pussy? Basically, we're talking about how I'm telling Amanda she's too aggressive. Yeah. Like, you guys aren't? Okay. You are so far up Alex's ass. Yeah. You should be embarrassed. I'm up Alex's ass? Yeah. yeah. Chloe, story of your no, life. No, I, you I both are two of the biggest <laughs> bitches I've ever met. I had fun last night. Me too. So, yeah. Alex and I hooked up last night. So, have you talked to Alyssa today? Are you going to tell her? Well, I don't know. We both care about each other. It's pretty obvious. I'm not the type of guy that's like going to close the door. I always leave it cracked. It's nice to feel like we're in a good place right now. It actually is like a huge weight off my shoulder. If you can't take one night of me treating you the way you treat me every day, then you, you shouldn't be friends you with me. You literally told Julia and I that we are the two fakest bitches on you Earth. You are, but I still love you. OK, well, I don't want to be friends with you if that's the case. Chloe doesn't like people treating her the same way she treats everyone. Well, all the girls can't you're stand you, and they think you're thirsty as should Hello, I just Jen. break her nose again? No. How was it? How was Nash? Right when I got there, we went like axe throwing and then. You're leaving out Juliet though. Like, like, did you guys spend time together at all? Yeah, of course we did. Of course we did. Of course we're all I didn't there. Think he... Yeah, but I'm talking about just you two. I don't like you guys being friends. All I can say is that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, and it's over with. It has been, you know, two years since we actually have sat down and like genuinely like had like a conversation. I just feel like we're finally past all of that. Cheers to us and getting over our differences from our past. I love you and I want you to come to LA. That's why I brought you here because I want to know where you're at. I've always known that I want to be a mom. Do you see a forever with me? Absolutely. I love you. I should have never gone to Nashville. What happened? I hooked up with Alex. Does anyone else know? And Chloe knows. Was Alex and Julia ever alone on this trip? Did they talk? Like, did they flirt? Like, no, I wouldn't say flirting. I think they were just like all being friendly. Are you just trying not to make me mad? No, why? I just tell me. No, I would tell you. The morning after it happened, we were like, oh my God, people are going to find out. Like, what do we do? So we walk into Chloe's room and we're like, hey, um, we thought we'd like go have like breakfast as friends, like all together again. <laughs> and she's like, you think I don't know you two? I heard it all. I feel like she hasn't said anything like to anyone yet. At breakfast, Alex says to Chloe, I'll literally buy you anything you want if you keep your mouth shut. And Chloe goes, I want a Celine bag. Basically, Alex bought Chloe's silence. It's hush money, it's a hush bag. So now that like all this has happened, what does it mean for you and Alex? Um, I don't know. 